Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be on schedule flow and we're going to try to send an email to a contact on a particular day of the month or the week. So we are here creating new flow and select schedule flow and here we are on the flow builder uh, screen and we're going to set schedule so on setting the schedule select the date and the time of your preference. I'm going to try to pick a time that's uh, within the range of the video so I can actually show you the test. So I'm going to pick the time closest to me. I'm going to make it minutes 919 and, and here and we are on the flow builder. So choose the object. Uh, here we're going to choose the contact object and the criteria here is email equals to uh, the my email address because that's the contact I want to target. And then you can pick the action. Here you can say type um, you can either select email alert that you already have or you can also select the core action um, which is what we're going to do so you just have send email simple message and this is where you're going to actually give it a name send email give it a good name and then um, making sure that you put your body here so I'm just going to have test for now for testing purposes but you can have a meaningful body um, right there and then test email as my subject. So uh, as the email address you can actually directly use the contact that you triggered the flow so record dot email so that will be the contact that the flow is going to pull the email from that contact and send it over. You can also hard code this value here and hit done and then connect them together save it. Once you save this we're gonna just call it send email uh, give it a meaningful name and once you activate this, you will actually uh, run into some issues sometimes if you are in a developer environment, which is what I had. So it will give you a warning saying that you need to set up an org-wide email address. So you can go to your org-wide email address setting, add an email address, and then once you add the email address, it will send you an email to verify it to that email address. So make sure that that email is something that you can access. And once you have done that then you can go to the process automation settings and from there you, you, you will add that address that we just picked into that automated process user email addresses as well as the default workflow because this is where it's going to send the email to if something fails so this is needed in order for you to send the scheduled emails and this is where you'll see your uh, job that was scheduled and I'm noticing that I did not pick the right time because my org is in West Coast, um, I'll need to go back and change the flow a little bit or change the time so I can show you the email. So I'm going to pause it here. So here we are scheduled for 620 and let's see if we get an email at 620. And here we are, we have the email, test email. So um, one thing to note about the schedule flow is that it doesn't actually send the schedule per month so you cannot define the schedule monthly so you might have to do some work around as in like maybe create a formula field that has a month filter to it or any other filter that you can use and maybe update a field using the schedule flow to which you can then use as a criteria and uh, add that to your schedule uh, flow criteria so when you are actually creating the flow if you go to the edit conditions um, you can then set something else along with the email address criteria. So this is where you can add condition maybe and use some other criteria that you might want to use for monthly but out of the box the monthly is not supported. Um, and there's always an option to actually create a batch job or a schedule job if, if uh, it just does not meet your requirement. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions.